Hello everyone, welcome back to Asha.academy. Academy. Today, let me walk you through a passage which is not a brief one at all. It comes around 400 to 450 words. Multiple worries. Back then, exams had no multiple choice questions. All answers had to be written in full, discursively and elaborately. Students joked that the evaluator measured the answers in cubits, elbow length, and gave marks proportionately. And now children pause this video for a while and read the entire passage. Upon reading, you do have 10 questions. So the very first question for you. What challenges did exams have back then? Four options have been given here. You need to select the right answer. Second one, what criterion did the teacher use to assess the student's responses? Again, you need to select the right answer from the given options. Third one, what is the meaning of the word gibberish? Select the right one. Fourth one, what was or were the criterion or criteria for receiving more points? Again, you need to go for the right one from the given options. Number five, MCQs give a chance to select the right answer from the options. Sixth one, what is the meaning of the idiom manna from heaven? Select the right option from the given ones. And then number seven, if MCQs do not get a negative marking, students will go for the right one, children. You have already read the passage. And then. MCQs made their way to show, again, you need to select the right option of the given lot. Number nine, pick up the correct option for the word stoke. Number 10, choose the correct option. Two columns have been given here, column A and column B. You need to go for the right answers. So whether 1A or 2B or 3C or 4 or D. So whatever it is, you need to go for the right answer. If your, an uh, if your answers coincide with mine, bingo, you do get full marks. Thank you. Thanks for listening to me patiently. Would you like to get to know about the correct answers? Please do text it there in the comment box. Please do like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye.